and greetings everyone in this video we'll be looking at uh, exam type question uh, for nca level 3 mathematics achievement standard uh, systems of simultaneous equations at an achieved level so some of the skills that will be demonstrated in this video will be uh, forming equations from a given context uh, solving systems of three linear equations uh, containing three variables and communicating uh, solutions uh, in context in this question it says a local coffee shop owner prepares three different types of uh, coffee drinks a latte cappuccino and uh, flat white for its customers for each cup of coffee latte needs uh, 18 grams of ingredient a six grams of uh, ingredient b and six grams of ingredient c uh, cappuccino uh, needs uh, 12 grams of uh, ingredient a 15 grams of uh, ingredient b and uh, three grams of ingredient uh, c uh, flat white uses uh, 6 grams of uh, ingredient A, 4 grams of ingredient B, and 10 grams of ingredient C. And then the first task, it says, uh, find the number of latte, cappuccino, and flat white coffee drinks uh, that can be produced uh, using uh, 1,770 grams of uh, ingredient A and 1,350 grams of ingredient B and uh, 1,380 grams of ingredient C. And the second task, it says, Anna decides to replace uh, ingredient A with ingredient D in all uh, three coffee mixtures. The uh, replacement weights are 9 grams for latte, 16.5 uh, grams for uh, cappuccino, and 9 grams for flat white, with 2,040 grams of ingredient D. And the, the amount of uh, ingredient B and C remain the same. And then it says uh, investigate the new number of uh, coffee drinks that can be produced using uh, ingredients B, C, and D with no wastage. So in this video, we'll uh, focus on uh, achieve uh, skills. Uh, so basically, we will uh, look at task uh, one. And in the next video, we will be looking at uh, merit and excellence uh, part to this problem, uh, which will come from task two. So, uh, to answer the question, uh, we will uh, need to form equations by defining the variables. So, in this case, I can say, uh, let X be latte. So, we are given uh, three different types of coffee drinks. So, uh, we can say X is latte, a Y is cappuccino drink, and uh, uh, Z is uh, flat white. So, what I did was uh, I used the information uh, given in context and created a table. It's not compulsory, but here you can uh, clearly see the total number of ingredients that were available. So, ingredients A, B, and C, and then uh, the three different types of drinks uh, that the owner is preparing. So, in this case, it becomes easier for us to uh, use this table to uh, uh, form equations. For example, if I'm looking at ingredient A, I can then know that it's 18x plus 12y plus 6z will give you total uh, that was available for ingredient A, which is mentioned here in task one. And likewise, we can form equations for B and C. So that's uh, what we need. And um, we were given each of the three ingredients for uh, each type of drink. So we'll use that to form equations now. So the first equation is 18x plus 12y plus 6z is equal to 1770. And then second one is uh, 6x plus 15y plus 4z is uh, 1350. And the third equation is 6x plus 3y plus 10z is 1380. And then uh, what we need to do is decide on which variable to eliminate first. So if I look at these variables, it's easier for us to eliminate uh, variable x. So x looks uh, easy to eliminate. So if I go... Uh, and take equation 1 and if I multiply the second equation by 3 and subtract the 2 I will be able to eliminate uh, variable x because they will have the same coefficient where well, 6 times 3 will give me um, 18 so those will cancel out if I subtract them so let's quickly do that so I've got the first equation there and then the second one after multiplying that by 3 so 6 times 3 is 18 15 times 3 is 45 4 times 3 is 12, and 1350 times 3 is 4050. And if I subtract the 2, so if I got 12 minus 45y, I will get negative 33y. And then 6 take away 12 is minus 6z. And 1770 take away 4050 is negative 2280. Please be careful with the negative sign. And uh, in this case, this becomes our fourth equation. So we'll now use equations 2 and 3. 
because the coefficient of x is same it's easier for us to just go equation 2 minus equation 3 to get rid of x so we'll quickly do that so 6x plus 15y plus 4z is 1350 and then uh, the third equation 6x plus 3y plus 10z is uh, 1380 so if i subtract the two i will end up with uh, 12y because 15 take away 3 is 12 so 12y plus for take away 10 is minus 6 so 12y minus 6z is equal to negative 30 because 1350 take away 1380 is minus 30 so that's our fifth equation now we will uh, eliminate z by looking at equations 5 and equations 4 so in this case if i go equation 5 take away equation 4 because z has got the uh, same uh, coefficient of negative 6 so if i subtract the two equations i will be able to cancel them up so if i got 12y minus minus so be careful with this minus minus will become plus so 12 plus 33 will give you 45y and then minus 30 minus minus is a plus as well so we will get uh, 2250 which is a positive result so this is uh, 45y is equal to 2250 and from here if i divide by 45 on both sides i will be able to get the y value which is uh, 50 and then from here we will back substitute to get the other values so now we will substitute y is equal to 15 equation 5 to uh, find z so equation 5 was uh, 12y minus 6z is equal to negative 30 so we substitute uh, 50 in that so 12 times 50 minus 6z is uh, negative 30 so 600 is minus 6z is equal to negative 30 take that on the other side so minus 600 and minus 30 is minus 630 and divide by negative 6 on both sides will give you z value of 105 now we will uh, substitute uh, y value of uh, 50 and z value of 105 in equation 1 to find the x value so 18x plus 12 times 50 uh, plus 6 times 105 is 1170 so that's our first equation and then uh, that simplifies to uh, 600 plus 630 and if i add those two up it becomes 1230 and then take 1230 on the other side gives you 18x is 540 divided by 18 on both sides gives you x value of uh, 30. now we'll put uh, all those three um, informations together so x is 30 y was uh, 50 and z is uh, 105 now once you've got these three values you must interpret this in context so you must answer the question in context so the question said um, find the number of latte cappuccino and flat white drinks uh, that can be produced using uh, these number of ingredients that's given so this means a local coffee shop owner can produce 30 latte drinks uh, 50 cappuccinos and 105 flat white uh, coffee drinks uh, using these ingredients uh, so if i look at this this is a unique solution consistent system with independent equations and the three planes will have a common intersection so this part is not required for uh, achieve but if you have got the answers you could have easily used a graphics calculator to work out the answers to achieve you will need to form equations and then of course solve so you can solve it algebraically or uh, using graphics calculator so once you've got the values for x y and z you must answer the question in context and uh, if you wrote a sentence uh, like so you will qualify for achieve and uh, this unique solution is uh, additional information there that's uh, where the planes uh, intersect and this is what the uh, intersection of the planes will look like hope this helps in the next video we will be looking at task two of this problem um, which will uh, uh, lead to uh, merit thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video